In today's video, we're going to look at how we use background sounds on the iPad, specifically with iPad OS 17 or older. Apple changed how you can access the background sounds with iPad OS 18. So once iPad OS 18 is released, I'll have a separate video on that and how it works with the control center. Like I said, in this video here, we're going to focus on how it works with iPad OS 17 as well as older OS. This is not new or exclusive to iPad OS 17. Now with background sounds, what we're able to do is play background sound just by tapping on this control in the control center. And we can select which sound we want to hear just by tapping on that. And again, this is all accessible through the control center. So it makes it really easy to access these background sounds and play them. Now, if you find that this video is helpful, what you may want to do is just stick around to the end. I'll tell you a little bit more about myself and how you can help support my efforts in creating these videos. All right, let's take a look at background sounds on the iPad with iPad OS 17 or older. Let's go over to my iPad and first see where we can find these background sounds. It's an accessibility option. So let's go over to my iPad. So we're looking at my iPad here. And as I mentioned, this is an accessibility option. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go over to the settings app. I'll show you how you can access this through the control center later on in the video, but let's just first see where this is all located. So I tap on the settings app. And then from here, what we need to do is we need to go to accessibility. So you're gonna see I have accessibility here. I tap on it. And then what we need to do is we need to go to our hearing section. So you're gonna see it says hearing here. And underneath hearing, there's an option for audio and visual. That's where we need to go, over to audio and visual. When I tap on that, you're gonna see the option for background sounds. So now if I wanted to listen to some background sounds or have the iPad play background sounds, all I need to do is just tap on this. And then from here, I can select which sound. So I just tap on that and you're gonna see I have a number of different sounds that I can choose. Right now I'm listening to dark noise. And then I can set if I want it to play when media is playing. When this is turned on, it's gonna play in the background and I can set the volume for this just by taking the slider and slide into the left or right. So if you wanna have a little background noise while you're listening to some music or watching a video, you can do that as well. And then we also have one more option here and that is stop sounds when locked. When your iPad is locked, it's gonna stop the background sounds. When this is turned on, so now how do you turn it on? Well, once you have everything all set to turn it on, all you have to do is just tap on the slider here. When you tap on the slider, let's go ahead and do that. You're gonna hear some dark noise when I turn it on. Let's go ahead and do that. And now you can hear that dark noise that's playing in the background. I tap on this again to turn it off. I wanna change the background sound. I tap on this and I can change that sound. So that's basically how it all works. But it's kind of a pain to get into the settings. As you saw, we have to go into our settings app, then we have to go to accessibility, then we have to go over to audio and visual, and then we have to go and tap on background sounds. It's gotta be an easier way of accessing these background sounds. Well, you can do this through the control center. What we need to do is we need to add the hearing control over to our control center. So let's go over and see how we can customize our control center. So now what I do is I just go back over to my settings here, but what we need to do is we need to swipe down and then what you're going to see here is control center. This is where we need to go. This is where we can go and customize the control center. So now what I do is I tap on that and then you're gonna see included controls. So these are the controls that are included on the control center. And then below that, what we have is more controls. Now this completely changed in iOS, iPad OS 18. So if you're using iPad OS 18, what you need to do is you need to customize this through the control center itself. Like I said, I'll have a video on that once iPad OS 18 is released. All right, so now what I need to do is I need to add the hearing control over to my included controls. You're gonna see that I do have it here. So let's go ahead and remove it so you can see how this works. So I just remove it. It moves it back down into more controls here. 
This is where it is by default. It is not on your control center by default. So now what I do is I just swipe up. I have hearing here. I tap on the green plus. And now we can see we have hearing here. So now it's in my control center. So now let's see how easy it is to access these background sounds now that it's in my control center. To do that, what we need to do is we just need to access our control center. So I have an iPad with Face ID. So the way that I access my control center is I just swipe down from the upper right hand corner. So I just swipe down and there's my control center. Now you're going to see that I have a number of different controls here. And one of them is shaped like an ear. This is the hearing control. So what I need to do is I just need to tap on that. When I tap on that, you're going to see I have a couple more options, one of them being background sounds. So now all I need to do is just tap on that and I can select my background sound. I can go and change the volume of it. And if I want to get to my settings, remember how those settings are buried? Well, if we swipe up here a little bit, you're going to see that I can actually tap on background sound settings and it'll take me directly over to those settings. So I don't have to go through the settings app. This will take me there automatically. So not only does it give us easy access to our background sounds, but also to the settings itself. So let's go ahead and change the noise. What we're going to do is we're going to go with rain. So I tap on rain here. And now to turn it on, all I have to do is just tap on this ear here. When I tap on that ear, let's go ahead and do that. You hear rain. I tap on it again to turn it off. I tap on a different sound to change the sound. So that's basically how background sounds work on the iPad with iPad OS 17 or older. This is not an iPad OS 17 exclusive feature. It's been around for several years. But like I said, they did change how the control center, how you edit the control center in iPad OS 18. So basically, if you follow these instructions, it's not going to work for you. The settings are still in the accessibility settings under audio and visual, but the way that we can access it through the control center did change a little bit. So that is how background sounds work on the iPad. Basically, what I would recommend doing is just going and adding the hearing control to your control center. And then when you do that, you just have to access the control center. No matter what app you're in, you can just swipe down to get to your control center. And then from there, you can select your sound and play it. If you want to get to the settings, you can easily go over to the settings. So that's how background sounds work on the iPad with iPad OS 17 or older. Now, if you found this video helpful, what you may want to do is like the video on YouTube. You can also subscribe to my channel. You can share it with your friends. Or what you can do is click on the red bell. When you click on the red bell, you'll get an alert or a notification when I release a new video. But even more than that, what you can do is you can visit my site, danstutorials.com. I have about 400, a little over 400 videos on YouTube as of this recording. But on my site, I do have over 2,100 videos, all related to Apple software and hardware. So I have a lot more content on my site. All of the videos there are free, just like they are on YouTube. But the way that you can help support my site is by becoming a member of my site. When you become a member of my site, you will no longer see any ads on any of the videos. I remove all of the ads. You also have access to my AI assistant, which is modeled after an Apple genius. And you get access to different classes that I hold on a regular basis. I also hold Ask Me Anythings, where you can just ask me anything about your Apple device, and I'll try to answer it. I'll put on my genius hat and see if I can help you out with that. And I hold those on a regular basis as well. Those are just live meetings that you can access or join through Zoom. And that's all included with the membership to my site. But probably most important is you're helping support a small business. It is just me in a corner office of my house. I'm not part of some big, large organization. So when you become a member, you're directly supporting my efforts in creating these videos. So take a look at Dan's tutorials if you want to help support my efforts. So that is how we work with background sounds on the iPad with iPadOS 17 or older.